Lab 17, Introduction to Swingbench and Oracle Database. In this lab, we will install and configure a workload generation tool called Swingbench and demonstrate the high availability features of the service while simulating a planned maintenance operation. Swingbench is a free load generator designed to stress test an Oracle database. Swingbench consists of a load generator, a coordinator, and a cluster overview. The software enables a load to be generated and the transactions or response times to be charted. Swingbench can be used to demonstrate and test technologies such as real application clusters, online table rebuilds, standby databases, online backup, and recovery. We will be starting at step two. Download and install Swingbench. You will need to connect to your developer client machine via VNC. The remainder of this lab assumes you're connected to the image through VNC Viewer and are operating from the image itself and not your local machine. Once connected, open a terminal window. Download the latest version of Swingbench using the curl command shown here. When it is finished downloading, you will need to unzip it. Step 3. Build and set up sample Swingbench schema. Now that you have installed Swingbench, the next step is to build the sample order entry schema in the database. SSH into your dev client machine and change directory to home slash opc slash swingbench slash bin. Run the order entry wizard. The Oracle entry install wizard will pop up on the screen. Click next. Select version 2.0 and click next. Select create the order entry schema, click next. Enter your connect string, administrator username and password, and then click next. You can leave the defaults in this screen and select next. Use the default information here as well and click next. Enter sizing details and then click next. Enter the level of parallelism and click finish. When the process is finished, click OK. Start the Swingbench load generator on your developer cloud image. This will pop up Swingbench load generator screen. Select SOE underscore server underscore side underscore V2 and then click OK. Under configuration, enter the username, password, connect string, driver type, and make sure collect database statistics is checked and enter the admin username and admin password. When you have entered all the necessary information, you may click the green start button. You can now observe transactions per minute increasing in the chart section. You can further change the configuration settings like increasing logged on sessions, shutting down one of the nodes in the Exadata Cloud service, and increasing the initial data size with Swingbench.